Hello everybody. Welcome back to this series on Indian Mathematics, Ganita Ratna Kosha. We will, in this video and the next video, we will look at how we can do square roots of any given number. We will first look at perfect squares and then we will go to any given number. It is the same method. In the past, we have seen how to do square roots just by observing. Um, this is a more uh, method. This is a method which you can use for uh, any number, however big it is. So, to do this uh, square root using this method, we need to refresh what is a duplex. Uh, we defined duplex D of a single digit number as the square of the number A. For example, if there are two digits AB, it is 2AB. If there are three digits, it is 2 into A into C plus B square, etc. and so on and so forth. If you recollect, this is the middle term of the crisscross multiplication. Uh, when you are multiplying two digits of the two numbers of those digits of those number of digits so we need to remember this d because we will use this d while calculating uh, square root so let's look at how the process works let's say we are first looking at square root of 1369 the representation will be very similar to uh, the flag division so let me write 1, 3, 6, 9 and I group the them by two digits um, from the right. So I have two sets which means the answer will have two digits before the decimal. The square root will have two digits before the decimal. The number of digits before the decimal is equal to the number of pairs and you know, number of groups of numbers. Now 13 is the first pair. I take 13. Square root of 13. Square root of 13 is now there is no square root sorry square root of the perfect square less than 13 will be square root of 9 square root of 9 is 3 so i'll write 3 as the first um, number in the square root the first number in the square root is 3 now 13 minus 9 the square of this number 13 minus 9 is 4 and this 4 will pass here to 4 so the next for the next stage the number we will consider is 46 and then we will write 3 times 2 here. So we will divide with uh, 46. So every time when we get the next quotient uh, digit, we will divide by 46 in the process. Now 46, uh, so divide by 6 in the process. So 46 I divide by 6, I get 6 7s are 42. 6 7s are 42 and 4 carry forward. So next stage there is 49. Now here from, from this number onwards after the first three uh, numbers there will be an adjustment which is I have to subtract d of this previous quotient number d of 7 which is 49 so minus 49 so this is 0 and hence my square root process ends there and the square root is 37. Let's go over the process once again. I first divide the numbers into groups. There is 6, 9 and 1, 3. So in the answer, there should be two digits before I hit decimals. Now I start with the first two digit number 13. The square root, the perfect square root of a perfect square less than 13 is square root of 9, which is 3. So I write 3 as the first digit in the answer of the square root. Now 13 minus 9 is 4. So, the 4th go to the next step as a carry forward. So, this digit we are considering here is 46 and we write twice this first digit in the answer here as a 6 as the divisor. Now, 46 in the next step I divide by 6 I get 7 is 42, 4 carry forward to the next stage. So, this becomes 49 and here I will use the duplex of the previous digit in the answer, just the previous digit in the answer. Uh, the, I will use the duplex to adjust. So, 49 minus 49 becomes 0 and hence the process stop there. So, 37 is the square root. So, the square root is 37. Let us look at one more example. Let us say we have 6, 8, 8, 9. So, again two digits in the answer before we hit square root uh, before we hit the decimals. So 68 the perfect square less than 68 is 64 and square root of 64 is 8. So 
I write 8 here. Now 68 minus 64 is 4. Now this 4 goes to the next stage as carry forward. So that becomes 48. Now I write 8 times 2 here. 8 times 2 is 16. So my divisor is 16. So 48 divided by 16 is 3. No carry forward. Now the adjustment here in this and uh, for 9 is d of 3 which is 3 square 9. So minus 9 is 0 and hence my process stops there. So the answer is 83. Square root of 6889 is 83. So if you notice the it is much 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 simpler than a long division method for finding the square roots. Let us look at a bigger number. So let us say I have 5, 2, 4, 1, 7, 6. So I divide into pairs. So there are 3 pairs which means there will be 3 digits in the answer before we hit the decimals. Let's start with the first pair 52. Now square root of, of a perfect square less than 52 is 49. 49 square root is 7. So I write 7 there. Now 52 minus 49 is 3. So 3 goes to the next number as carry forward. So it is 34. I write 7 times 2 here, 14. Then 34, we divide by 14, that is 14 twos are 28. So 6 carry forward. Then I have 61. Now here the adjustment is D of 2, which is 4. So 61 minus 4, I get 57. Now 57 divided by 14 is 4 times 56, 1 carry forward. And then here the D different D of I take the two digit number 2 and 4. So that is how the D will increase each time. So this is 16. So 17 minus 16. So D of 2 and 4 is 2 into 4 into 2. 2 AB. So that is 16. So 17 minus 16 is 1. Now here it is 0 for 1 divided by 14 is 0 times 1 carried forward. Now here it will be D of 240, a 3 digit number 240 which is 2 times 2 into 0 plus 4 square which is equal to 16. Adjustment is 16 again 0, Sorry. this is 0. So 724 is the square root of of 524176. The only thing to remember is as the number of digits increase the D always starts with one digit 2 and then it, the adjustment is D of 22 and 4 and then the adjustment is D of 240 and if there was another number here it will be D of 2400 etc. So we need to remember what is the duplex or D of, of you know 2 digit, 3 digit, 4 digit, 5 digit numbers so that we can go through the process for as many digits as we have to. Now this process simplifies calculating square roots uh, to a large extent when compared to the long division method and it gives very accurate results very easily as well. I have given some problems to try in the notes, please do try them out and you will also find the workings on the website. For any clarifications or suggestions, please do write to me. Thank you.